Welcome back to Living 757. Oh yes, hey look, and <laughs> Patricia, our yes. next guest here is a military vet, uh, comedian, and uh, he's won multiple uh, competitions in mm -hmm. comedy, and he even had a special performance at the White House. Let's welcome Team Fred to the show. How you doing there, Team Fred? <laughs> Hey, I'm doing very well. I just want to clarify to the viewers that I was at the White House in 2016. Okay, oh. yes, I was wondering about that. <laughs> okay. I was wondering about that. When I about to ask, like, uh, which administration are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on Living 757. Uh, explain to all the viewers where the name Team Fred comes from. Um, back when I first started comedy, um, uh, during the competitions, in order to perform, you had to bring uh, a lot of people to the show. Yeah. And the comic that brought the most people to the show got a chance to perform. So I would always show up with a lot of people um, at the show, so that way they would have, uh, they call me Team based on the number of people I bought. It was like a basketball team when I showed up for a football team. So that's where Team Fred came from. Team Fred come up. Yes, now, you, love it. You know, and that makes a lot of sense. And I know that you can attest to this as well as I. Uh, as comics, we are basically unemployed at this time, right? <laughs> we all are. <laughs> right, you, yeah, yeah, you know, like any yeah, entertainer yeah. is just un un unemployed at this time. But, but, but you took this time to come up with a pretty cool virtual idea. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, I was watching the news, um, unfortunately, one day, and I saw a lot of the NBA players taking thousands of dollars and giving it back to local arena workers. And as I was sitting on the couch, I was trying to figure out what could I do with the resources that I had to give back to the community. So I came up with the virtual comedy show, and we're doing it for a good cause to raise money for the uh, Virginia Peninsula Food Bank in nice. order to provide food for uh, meals for the families. Absolutely, and I see that you got your guy yes. right behind you that's doing a little bit of work. You're trying to get everything set up because that's in your man cave, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the show is going to take place in the virtual comedy man cave, which is my man cave at the house. And I got my camera guy here. We're setting up doing some testing to make okay. sure everything's right for, uh, for this Friday. Great. Fred, can you give us a tour and show us how this is going to work? Sure, sure. Let me get up and uh, show you what's going to happen because I definitely <laughs> wanted to make sure I maintain... Um, the, the guidance from the local city and national government about social distancing. Okay. So, right. um, just bear with me if I take you on this tour. The comedians will show up to the house. <laughs> okay. We're gonna um, stay in the parking lot and one by one they will enter the house. And I'm gonna re uh, reverse my camera so you guys can kind of get a uh, inside track of what to experience as a comedian. So. Okay. As you can see, that's the, the cameraman's truck. That's where the comedians will be parking in okay. the cul-de-sac. They will walk up. Uh-huh. To the side of my house. And okay, as they come down this, that. I call it the VIP path. Oh, we the have VIP, VIP path. also. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and it looked like you got a good landscaper, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yes. I, I just did that this weekend. <laughs> Fred, uh, another question. I know Quincy is going to be there with you guys. Who else is going to be there? Um, it's going to be myself. Of course, Quincy Carr. I got Donna Lewis. She's a NASA employee. I got um, my man Dylan Valletta, he's coming out of Richmond. And then uh -huh. if you haven't heard of Alex Scott, he's been on BET, Comedy View, True TV, oh, yeah. uh, Laughaholics. He has the credentials of some of the top-notch comedians in the in the country. He's gonna come close up the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now. Well, as you can see um, at the stage, in the back of the stage, I have three uh, stuff animals. My daughter didn't want us to be alone. Yeah. So. <laughs> Are they going to be laughing? Because you're not going to have audience this time. How that's going to work? We're going we're gonna to rig it up so uh, that they can laugh at the event. But no, it's just one of those things. As a comedian, yeah, as well, a comedian we've all performed in front of the audiences where uh, people didn't laugh. So we should be used to this. But again, it's for a good cause. So in, in times like these, it's time to come up with innovative ways to be creative. And that's what I tried to do. Absolutely, man. And, you know, and I know, like, for me and as well as the other comics, it's going to be definitely a yes. challenge to, to, you know, tell jokes without having the audience, that intimate mm -hmm. audience in front of us. But we certainly appreciate you coming mm -hmm. up with this idea and you're practicing the good, you know, distancing uh, yes, standards the as well. Distances. So this is groundbreaking on so many levels right here in the Hampton Roads or in the 757. Yes. That's what the new right. name is, I, right? I know. <laughs> yeah. Now, where, where can people follow you? Um, Team Fred 757 on Instagram to get information about the show. 
as well as Team Fred on Facebook. All right, and we got cool. a flyer here up on the screen so our viewers Perfect. can see. Uh, this is Team Fred presents a virtual night of comedy to help the feed, uh, well, to help feed the community. So uh, this we is going to be next uh, this Friday, 27, 8 p.m. So please, please uh, stay tuned and check them out. And I hope you guys have a blast. It's right. awesome. Right, and the mm -hmm. tickets are $10. $10. Uh, it's $10 to, to pay for the viewing link. This is not going to be face, Facebook Live in any way. Uh -huh. Okay, so. Uh, so. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Fred. Thank you so no much. Problem. Yes, thank you so much.